Hello everyone, my name is Italo and welcome to this quick video on how to protect HDFS directories from accidental deletions. We will go through uh, details on how it works and which configuration changes need to be implemented for this. We will also have a quick demonstration of the same. Sometimes Hadoop administrators will like to protect a few of the important directories from accidental recursive deletions. Starting uh, from HTTP 232 through Apache Jira HDFS 8983, FS protected directories property has been introduced to prevent directories from unintended recursive deletions. The recursive deletion of a directory will fail if any of these two criteria is met. One, the directory is non-empty and protected. Two, one of its non-empty descendants is protected. Let's take a look at the demo. Let's switch to the um, HDFS user first. We'll create the directory that will be protected later on. I have created a uh, dummy file, so we will put it there as well. So let's take a look at the content of the protect me HDFS directory. So that's the file. In Ambari, we'll go um, and perform the uh, required changes to uh, protect this directory. We'll go to our HDFS service uh, to the config section. Within the config section, we'll uh, hit on the advanced tab and we'll scroll down to the custom core site section here. We'll click add property and we'll add the new property as a key value. We'll add it, then save. We'll add a quick note for change. And we'll restart the um, all required services for this. Okay, now that uh, the services required are um, restarted, let's test the um, HDFS uh, protection for this directory. So we'll do HDFS, we'll add the recursive, we'll skip trash because that's the permanent deletion and provide the directory HDFS path. You'll see this mes message uh, about not being able to delete this non-empty protected directory. All right. Thanks for watching. Uh, please don't forget to visit our website for more interesting topics. Thank you.